what is going on everybody welcome to another video today we're going to be tackling a little bit of adjustment with this shifter boot but before i do that i'm gonna kind of throw the stock factory one back on show you guys what you're going to need to do to get this done all you need to do if you're swapping out your boot for a new one purchase a new boot i'll uh, throw the link for this one i got it off ebay for like 12 bucks i believe and then I also have a shift knob as well as you can see. Uh, I believe I got that from a K Cars website. But anyway, I'm gonna kind of throw this back on, show you what to look for when taking it apart. And all you're gonna need to take it apart the Torx bit screwdriver. So let's go ahead and show you what you need to do. And for this, since I have this aftermarket knob on, I'm gonna take it off. So just unscrew it on top. Throw that around, anyway, pull that off. That was sandwiching this together. And you're gonna wanna run either your fingernails or a trim popper tool around this little piece right here. And it's really pretty simple. So just pop that up and then you can well, go ahead and pop it off just like that. This is what the factory one looked like and the reason I replaced it was because, well, as you can see, ripped up falling apart flaking everywhere and it didn't look that great either but also the knob itself pretty gross and grimy and old and worn and got a weird feeling to it anyway how it sits is like so and then there you go but with this plate the boot comes through and you've got this kind of plastic collar that goes around the inside holding the boot in place now what I'm going to be doing today is just adjusting this to give me a little more play because the issue I have right now is sometimes if I'm shifting pretty aggressively, especially fifth and reverse, it'll pull on the plate itself and it'll pop it up. Not the biggest deal, but it is a little annoying. So I'm going to try and fix that so I don't have that issue. Get those screws out, set them to the side, and then like I said, this plastic collar right here is kind of sandwiched in between the boot material, so you pull that out. When you're putting the screws back in, do keep in mind it is soft plastic, so just be careful with it. Okay. And put it back on, just slide it back over top. You got that like so. Get the good. Alright, that'll do. Shift knob back on. Try not to twist the boot material as much as possible, but get it snug. And there we go. So let's see. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't stretch nearly as much as it did before. Let's see. Yep, fifth gear's not not bad at all. That gives yep, that gives a good bit of play. It's not pulling up on the base anymore either. good all right guys and that's how you do that but again this was the old one bloody blue blue cheap old dirty bland and spice it up 